Hi, this is Elliot from Gigs Online, and I wanted to talk about side hustles today. I saw this article from Next Advisor, and I really wanted to look at it and review it to talk about things that are really accessible to the average person. So these are my opinions. Um, I've done some of these side hustles before, and I'll be very transparent on what I understand or, or what we at Gigs Online have collectively experienced with all of these side hustles. So the reason why this article was written is due to the fact that holidays are coming up and it's always great to have extra you know, money to be able to buy presents. And uh, you know, if you really want to get someone uh, something special, you, you may need some money to do that. So that's really what this article is about, you know, how to make $750 uh, before the holidays. Here's some uh, side hustles that, are, that have very, very high demand now. So the first one is really this idea of taking part-time shifts for events. I think this is actually very accessible. There are many, uh, you know, festivals or even uh, things that are happening where people are getting uh, taking their pictures with Santa. And so there are ways to uh, do that. And I think this is accessible. Um, I don't know if this will be one way for you to get $750, but for the right event, um, you take some part-time shifts. I think that is very uh, possible. The second one is really this idea of reselling items on e-commerce platforms. I've actually done this in the past. I've actually sold things on Amazon and eBay. Uh, before the pandemic, uh, we ran uh, a shop, personally ran a shop uh, on eBay, and uh, we decided to, you know, not do that anymore uh, because it was, uh, you know, we had issues just going to the post office. So right now, post offices are open, um, and it's very easy for you to really start by selling things uh, in your house. I saw a great video in the past that talks about this. Um, I think that, uh, you know, it's very accessible. And if anybody wants, you know, me to link the video, just make a comment in the, 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 uh, in the comment section below, and I'll go ahead and get that out to, to you. Uh, editing podcasts or video episodes. I think this is very possible. Um, I think a lot of people are doing podcasts nowadays or even uh, YouTube channels like this one. Um, I don't need <laughs> uh, like editing for my for my videos. I, I try to do as things as uh, as raw and live as possible and try to do uh, zero editing. Um, that may impact the quality of my channel, but that's how I do it. <laughs> so I think this is possible. I have never done this uh, personally, but I do know that there are a lot of people that uh, like to make videos uh, and there are people that love to edit videos and you may be one of them. So I think that is very possible. Ah, freelancing. Uh, I have done this in the past. I've actually uh, done uh, gigs on not only Fiverr, but also done jobs on Upwork. Uh, it's very easy for you to really uh, take your experience in, in helping people uh, through uh, freelance uh, jobs. That's, it's very possible to do that. I know you see videos of people like, I made you know hundreds of thousands of dollars on, on Fiverr in six months. I think it is possible. Will everybody make that amount of money? I don't think so. But I think uh, using Fiverr or Upwork to get uh, some freelance gigs would allow you to get some extra money for uh, uh, the holidays. So I think this is actually one that is very accessible. And, and if you have any questions about my experience or you want to get started, please just drop a comment and I, I'm definitely willing to help. Co coach or consult people virtually. I, I think this is, is huge. I, I actually uh, know of uh, a very uh, great person that is a, a German uh, language instructor. Uh, she actually does everything virtually and uh, she has been doing this for years and I think it is very possible uh, to either coach or, or consult people. Uh, she's actually coaching them on language and so um, she's a bit of a teacher and, and coach and, and helping out conversationally. Um, you can really, to this point, charge 50 to tw uh, $200 per session. I think the other thing you can do is really uh, look at the idea of coaching in groups where you know, that's where you can get your, your rate up to um, 200 bucks, where uh, if people are all 
kind of at the same level and, and you determined after through a conver conversation, you just kind of have like a weekly coach, coaching session where you charge about $20 uh, per person and you have 10 people within that session. You make it interactive and, uh, you know, let's say you do it for 30 minutes or, or 60 minutes. I think that is very, very possible for you to do that and you're kind of on your own terms and you're actually helping people and lending your expertise. I think this is very possible uh, for uh, someone to, to do and actually get a, a couple of dollars in their pocket for the holiday season. Uh, Part-time ride share. Yes, I, I think this is very possible. Uh, you do have a lot of um, bonuses that you can get uh, for, for starting and also referring people on platforms like Lyft and Uber. And if you really don't like having people in your car, you can actually... Uh, do a slight variation of this by um, like delivering food. You know, you have like Uber Eats, you have uh, a lot of other uh, uh, things that you can do uh, that would allow you to do uh, ride sharing. And, and it's, it's kind of, you're, instead of taking people from point A to point B, you're taking their goods from point A to point B. I, I think um, Instacart is another example. So I, I do believe that you could either uh, ride share people or <laughs> ride share things. Uh, and, and that is something that is very accessible. Uh, the apps that you plug into, the platforms are very, very easy to get started. Uh, verification doesn't take too long. So I think this is very, very possible. Uh, I think we're starting to increase the level of difficulty a little bit uh, to create and sell online courses. I think this is possible. Uh, I, I think the big thing with uh, uh, courses is that you got to really kind of have an audience for it because you can create a course and have no one there uh, or nobody that really cares about the topic that you're trying to cover. But I do think this is a way for you to get, you know, kind of reoccurring revenue where you, you do it once and multiple uh, people will buy it over time. So it's kind of that idea of you write it once and you reuse it as many times as possible. I, I think this is uh, one that has like more kind of long term revenue stream uh, possibilities as opposed to just, you know, some of the other things that are more like even ride sharing. It's kind of like you're, you're just getting paid to do that ride. But here you can get paid to create a course uh, multiple times with just that one course. So I, I think this is, uh, is possible. I think it's a little bit harder than the, the previous six we talked about already. But, you know, it is possible. Ah, yeah, so, you know, I kind of jumped the gun a little bit, uh, deliver groceries or take out from restaurants. Um, I still kind of think of, you know, it, it's kind of people, you know, may put it in a different bucket, but I, I do really think that, you know, either you're delivering, you're taking people from point A to point B or their stuff from point A to point B. If you're not really a people person, you don't want people in your car, this is a great uh, opportunity. I do think that uh, there are people that, you know, do this full time and, and this is their their thing. And, and I think um, one experience, I do know somebody that has done uh, Instacart um, and, you know, they had a, a good time with it. And Instacart has different ways that you can kind of uh, do where I think one thing with Instacart is like you can actually just be in the store shopping. And if that's something you like to do, you can actually make some money from that. Uh, you can actually be what they call, I think it's like a full service shopper where you go into a store, you look at your app, and then you go and get the groceries. Uh, you pay uh, for the groceries with the Instacart, like card, credit card, and then you go and uh, deliver the groceries. And so they're full service, but that is possible. And you're probably going to make more money than just the person that is either picking up the order and delivering it or putting the order together. That is very, very possible. Um, yeah, I, I think you could probably uh, do that. And, and I think it's probably uh, as we uh, get closer to, uh, you know, the holiday seasons where more people are going to be out traveling. Uh, when you think about it, you know, people are going out to buy gifts. And so when they come home, they're not going to be thinking about making food, they're going to be thinking about ordering food. And so the demand for these services go up over time. And so I think you could probably uh, at your own kind of pace, if you want to do this multiple hours a day or a couple hours a day, I think you could make some extra money and, and really um, be able to, you know, theme of this article, uh, get some money for holiday gifts. Yes, I think that is very possible. Um, rent out your car. Uh, I have never done this. Uh, I don't think this is one for me. I think this is very po uh, possible. 
if you have a car like maybe a Tesla or a McLaren um, and you have good insurance, yeah, <laughs> I think this may be uh, a, a good idea. Um, I, I would say that um, it's possible, uh, especially if you live in an area where people have an affinity for a certain type of car that you have. Yes, you could do this. Uh, there's risk associated with it, probably more risk than some of the other ones that we've seen already. But it's definitely possible. Um, again, haven't done it myself, probably would never do it. Um, normally because the car that I drive is the, is the car that I rely on. <laughs> so maybe having a, a car that, uh, you know, a, a weekend car or a car that you know you're not gonna be able to, you know, drive for a couple weeks, maybe that's a good option to, to rent out your car. Um, again, this is probably not accessible to a lot of people, uh, but it is possible. Ah, yes, so Airbnb. This is kind of like the Airbnb uh, uh, model, uh, VB, VB, uh, VRBO, can't speak today, a model. Yes, uh, this is, is possible. Uh, Airbnb has been around for a very, very long time. Uh, we did see a little bit of slowdown of the economy when uh, coronavirus started happening. We did see, you know, people traveling less. I mean, a lot of times people were in lockdown, so they couldn't really go on vacations or go to an Airbnb or go to uh, some, you know, short-term rental. So this is uh, very possible, I think, now with um, people uh, traveling a bit more. Uh, this is uh, a lot more accessible. I would say this may work if you live in a city that is having some type of a, an event. I think uh, a lot of times hotels may not have enough capacity in your area and you may be able to offer your home and uh, offer a rent uh, a room in your home to be able to to do that um i, I think it's 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 possible and i i know that people uh travel less for kind of leisure during the winter holidays of the winter season versus the summer season but i think this is very possible uh, especially if you live in a, a very um, like densely populated area that has a lot of events. I think of San Francisco. I think San Francisco is one area that you probably could do very well with like a, a, a an Airbnb. And, it, and it's kind of one of these things that you're not running it all the time. You have these spots that you pick to say like, oh, this, uh, this convention is in town. I'm going to uh, put one of my runs up or, or make it available through one of these platforms. So all in all, I think that a lot of these are accessible, had... I did have some experience in some of them. Um, I would say if you stuck around this long, thanks. I really appreciate it. If you feel that this information was helpful uh, and uh, you would, you know, be so kind to like subscribe to my channel and maybe like the post, I would really appreciate that. Uh, that allows, uh, you know, the YouTube algorithm to get a strong signal so that other people can see this information if you found it uh, beneficial. So um, if there are any questions or you want my thoughts about any of these more in detail, please leave a, a comment in the comment section. Uh, I really appreciate any feedback and I do answer questions. So I, I try to respond to every single comment. I, I don't have a lot of them, and I, <laughs> but I still make a, a point of responding. So thank you so much for watching today. Again, this is Elliot with Gigs Online and see you next time.